all right so we have written all the four methods of the service that is the server side streaming client side streaming and bi-directional streaming now let's jump on to the server side code to implement these methods so what we'll do is let me open my browser so what we'll do is that we have already implemented this method and this there was this public void get student which was the implementation of the first first one which is get student now we need to implement these three methods as well in the server side so we move here and then we go to this base class and now you see that after running mvm clean install we have these extra methods which we can easily go ahead and override so what i'll do is i'll copy these methods and then i'll just override in my class so i'll copy it i'll go to my server class i'll come here and then i will remove this so now all i need to do is to implement this method for my both client side and server side and by directional streaming so this is for the server side streaming we already have a logger so let's use that logger.info got the request from client is equal to request dot get id okay now we need to send the response so the way we do that is that we have a response observer dot on next and we can send the response from the server in this one so we can have a we can again create the same response which we created earlier so i'll copy this i'll paste it here and then here i can give student response can we make it one one in fact let me do one thing i'll add a for loop here so for int i is equal to zero i less than 50 i plus plus and let me put it here so and then what i need to do is response observer dot on completed which will give the signal to the client that all the responses are done and it can it can stop waiting for more such responses so here's the request and now the responses are sent one by one and as soon as this on next is being called the client will get the response so this will not happen in a chunk but it will just happen one by one by one now this one is quite interesting so here you see that instead of void so till now in the the, if there was no such uh, you know uh, client side streaming in those cases there was no return type but in case of client side streaming we have a return type here so uh, we need to have a return here so again uh, we'll do the same thing that is you know the client side request so let's have a logger dot info that we got the requests and then what we can do is that so let's see what is needed in the response so we need a response stream that is the stream observer so we need to create a new stream observer because this is what is needed and we need a student of a student class which is what we need student stream observer um so we need is yes okay of this one and where stream observer okay 
and then what we need to do is we need to implement methods these three methods which signify that uh, what do we need to do in these cases and then we just need to return the stream observer so this is what happens in the client side streaming that uh, the stream of uh, the requests come and the server can a uh, server has an observable method which which actually just waits waits for the request to come one by one by one so here we just need to do logger dot info request received equal to student request dot get id okay and here itself we can have uh, more things for example we can have a logger dot error error occurred and here this is the completion one where we can send a completion message so basically we have a response observer dot uh, on next so here we can have one single response that is student response dot get default instance whatever and then we can have a response observer dot on completed and here we can have one more thing completed completed all the requests so basically the in this case the client is just sending the data in a stream and the server is able to process those data one by one by one by one so this is what the client side streaming is now let's move on to the bi-directional streaming so this is one more method which we need to implement and again there is the same response observer which is there and in this case uh, the implementation is pretty much same that is we have the same kind of uh, data so what i do is i again have the same thing that is logger okay i do waste time in this i have a where what is needed is the stream where stream observer is equal to new stream observer and here i need to have a student request and it will automatically ask me to implement the methods so these are the methods which i need to implement and then i can return the stream observer so you see the compilation error just went away and it is almost same what i need to do is just one extra thing that i can send my responses in on next so this is same this is same here you see this is same this is also same and this is also same so all these things are same i don't have to make any change anywhere the only change is that here i can have response observer dot on next and here i can give student response dot new builder dot set name i can name this as anupa whatever i mean it's all on your set age 10 dot build you can send whatever you want to so here the only difference is this one that 
on each request which comes to you you can send a response whereas in case of client side streaming you had only one response so if you send such responses here then they will the the uh, you you will be able to see the errors which come so in case of bi-directional streaming because it will say that hey here you do not have a stream but you are trying to return a stream so you see how easy it is to switch from one to other that is in case of server i just had to you know add a bunch of things so for example here i was free to add this not in the other case so yes this is what the server implementation looks like in your proto file you make these services and then you do mvn clean install once you do that you are able to see in your uh, service those methods and then you copy those methods override those methods and based on the use cases whether it is server side streaming client side streaming or bi-directional streaming you implement those methods so remember these methods are with the frame of reference of server not the client this is something which we need to take care of now we'll move on to the client side code so again just to repeat that now the client already has the proto file and now it just needs to call the method that is call the server based on various use cases so earlier you have already seen how i have done it for uh, the basic client side uh, call where there is a client and there is a server so likewise i will implement for the other use cases so let me get started on that.